Hi everyone, welcome to the 69th session of Python for Machine Learning. In this session, we are going to detect outliers using the mathematical formula. So, as as for the screen, the first step is to sort the pandas column and then followed by finding the lower quartile, interquartile, and the upper quartile range. So, what I have done, I am importing a pandas data set and then I have created a df data frame and, and uh, I am populating one of the column in the data frame as a count and the values are given in the in this list. I will execute this and what is the value I am having here? This is my, so as per my rules, first step is to sort it out, sort this uh, data set. So, df dot sort values by equals to count. Even if we don't sort, uh, there's a way to get the quartiles, upper quartiles and lower quartiles. And now df.sort values and will give in place equals to true. If we execute this, the value now, you can see it's sorted. Now, as per this, second step is to find the lower quartile, upper quartile and the interquartile range. Now, if we simply give ds.describe, you can see the lower quartile is 7, upper quartile is 90 and the interquartile will be the lower quartile, upper quartile minus lower quartile. Again, through numpy will import numpy also we will evaluate it we will calculate the upper quartile lower quartile and the median so what we will do q1 is lower quartile q2 is median suppose and q3 is the upper quartile so what we will do np dot percentile and then what is our data set name df comma will give lower quartile is nothing but 25 percent like where then followed by 50 followed by 75 okay okay we have not executed numpy will execute numpy then we'll come here now if you print q1 q1 7 q2 11 so you can see 25 and then q2 is like 50 percent and then followed by q3 which is nothing but 19.5 now as per this formula we need to calculate the lower boundary and the upper boundary of a data set like uh, or rather the my numbers where is my outliers we need to detect so that for that we'll calculate it so lower underscore and boundary is equals to q1 minus 1.5 times of interquartile range now interquartile range is nothing but iqr is equals to iqr is equals to q3 minus q1 Q3 minus Q1, okay, and lower boundary will be uh, IQR. Yeah, that is fine. We'll execute this. So we have the lower boundary. So that is minus 11.75, and we don't have any number like there. So we we don't have any issue with the lower quartile, uh, lower boundary, or the low uh, the uh, outliers in the lower side. Now upper boundary. Upper boundary is equal to Q1 plus, uh, sorry, it will be Q3 plus 1.5 times of my I interquartile range. We'll execute this. And what is my value of the upper boundary? 38.5. So if we see, see this, so 40 is my this value. This 40 is my outlier. So we can remove this. If you are doing some analysis, uh, pre processing the data, then as for that, 40 is the coming under the category of outliers. So this is a very simple method to get the outliers, to detect the outliers. Thanks a lot for watching the session. If you feel this video is helpful, please press the like button and also subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.